Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the Media Files. Yep, we're doing another video game collection overview today. Uh, I figured I'd try to spit these out before I get, uh, you know, on vacation and get, uh, you know, really busy with everything. But, uh, well, this is this is basically like a sneak preview, really, on this one. But it's not the collection we're talking about. I just figured I'd throw this out there. Uh, the only Game Boy game I have currently in front of me is Metroid 2. So, great game. Hard. I know they re-released it on the DS. Or not the DS. I think the 3DS or something like that. However, though, we're going to talk about the little green giant that could. The second time around. Yep. We're going to talk about my Xbox 360 collection today here on the Media Files. So, all right. Damn those. Let's see here. So, okay. So, first of all, uh, well, what can I say? Uh, 360, I really don't have a whole... I mean, I've got some games, but, you know, um, let's just be honest. The, the only reason everybody really got the Xbox was because of Halo. That's pretty much the only reason why, right? But, but there's other great games out there in the system, uh, which, sadly, I don't have a whole lot of. I need to get more games for this system. Uh, so, first of all, uh, we have, well, the newest game just got announced. It's coming out soon. I believe this fall, I think. Maybe already. Uh, we have Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, now, I know this is all, I also have this on the PS3. But, uh, you know, what can I say, though? It's Mortal Kombat. So, uh, up next, we have, uh, let's see what's in here, yeah, a game that's in a case. Obviously, I don't have the artwork for it. Uh, wish I did. Maybe I could print it off somewhere, but, uh, you know, I bought this at a yard sale. But uh, we have X-Men Origins Wolverine, the Uncaged Edition. Yeah, this is the full hardcore version of that game. The Weaver, uh, I believe it's the Wii version is toned down to teen, so, but that one there shows off all the blood and guts, you know, gore, all that fun stuff, so, you know, just like Wolverine should be, right? Um, so, up next, uh, we have, uh, ah, this game, uh, this game, actually, my wife found this for me at a yard sale many years ago, and, uh, I'm surprised I still have not played it or beat it to this day, actually, uh, she bought the... I can't remember how much she paid for it. I think, like, only a couple bucks, I think. Uh, she got me uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the Hardened Edition. Yeah, with the exclusive, uh, you know, Steelbook, you know, it, thing there, as well as a behind-the-scenes art book, which is also in this. So, like, yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> uh, which also... Oh, yeah, it also includes the... Uh, Original Call of Duty as a Xbox Live Arcade download, which I don't think actually exists anymore. That's all right, though. Uh, so, up next, we have... Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, we have uh, basically the ending of one story and literally the origins of the next story, which you all kind of basically should know by now. We have... Halo Reach, yeah, uh, what can I say though, I still have yet to beat this game, but you know what though, everybody kind of knew where the ending was going to happen, and what was going to happen anyways, so you know, basically one story ends, and the other begins with our favorite character as always, the Master Chief, and oh, I completely forgot that game was actually in here, <laughs> I opened it up, and uh, well, uh, oh, the actual, oh, the box is right here, sweet. <laughs> I was wondering where that game went, went hiding more. I'm like, why is it so loose? Uh, apparently, I also have... Uh, yep. Yeah, which I'll show later on in another video. Because it's a different system. So, yeah. Halo Reach. Great game. Uh, you know, great music, by the way. Great score. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, speaking of Halo... <laughs> uh, we have the Deluxe Edition of... 
Halo 3. Yeah. Um, what can I say? It's kind of weird that here it is. They have it in this, you know, big, huge metal box. You know, cool slipcover, though, by the way. And, you know, so you have... <laughs> It's kind of funny that they have the essentials, which is the documentary, but yet they have this big, huge, cumbersome piece of cardboard in here for no reason, just for packaging purposes. And, you know, obviously you get, you know, the game disc and stuff and whatnot, and, you know, your flyer, your booklet and all that type of stuff. Um, which, you know, eh. What can I say? It was a great game. Although I thought the ending was a little bit tacky, because it kind of reminded me, of, it, it was almost like a repeat of the uh, of the first game, kind of, a little bit. But, we also have Halo 4, yeah, which I still have not beat to this day. Uh, I haven't played my Xbox in, like, forever, because it's actually, it's still, in a, it's still boxed up in its box, actually. It's a great game, though, by the way. Uh so, Star Wars, um, yep, we have, uh, The Force Unleashed 2, yep, now I, I know I have this also on the PlayStation 3 as well, I could have sworn I did, um, I'm not sure exactly what happened to it, but, uh, I really wish that they would have finished this series, because what was going to happen, apparently one of the sequences that was going to happen in the third game was that Star Killer was going to team up with Darth Vader for a sequence or two. I'm like, that would have been cool to see. Oh, let's see. Here. Let's move some manuals out of the way here. Um, so, what do we have next? Ah, yeah, one of the games that took up pretty much almost my entire hard drive on the on the 360. We have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yeah, this game it, it takes like four gig. I'm like, right, you really need that much memory to eat up on the 360? Yes, <laughs> apparently you do. But not only that, though, co-stars Kevin Spacey. So, there you go. Uh, let's see here. What do we got next here? What's in this case? Uh, is it a 360 game? Yeah. Okay, this game, unfortunately, it sucks. I don't have a cover art for it because, well, I bought it at a yard sale for three bucks. <laughs> we have Halo 3 ODST. Basically, the Halo 3 side story. And, uh, you know, if I ever find this, I'm probably going to, you know, sell this one and make sure it has the right colored disc case with it. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, do -do -do -do. what's this? Uh, is that 360? Yes. Uh, another game that I don't have cover art for. Um, I have, but it is an awesome fighting game, though. We have Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Yeah, Batman versus Scorpion. I, you know, I really wish they, they would do a live... I wish that they would either do a live-action uh, movie of that or at least a DC animated type of thing. That would be cool. Uh, let's see here. So what else is next? Uh, let's see here. Ah, here we have from Team Ninja, one of the games that really surprised me. Uh, the fact that literally whenever you make a kill, the guys stay there. Yeah. We have Ninja Guided 2. Yeah. What can I say? Can't go wrong with some Ninja Guided. I mean, come on. It's bloody. It's brutal. And it's just completely badass. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Uh, up next, we have... Ah. Um... Uh, Supposedly I bought this for four bucks, but uh, I'm just going to take this stupid sticker off. I think I got a little bit cheaper than what they were asking for. Get, get off. Uh, we have the Game of the Year edition of Batman Arkham City. Yeah. Now, I do have this on the um, PS3 as well. Um, you know, I just kind of bought it just because the fact that, well, it's, you know, Batman, obviously, and I love Batman, and I was really to play my 360 at the time. I need to get that out again. It's been forever since I've had that out. So, uh, speaking of Batman, we also have Batman Arkham Origins. Yep. Um, what is... What, hang on a second. I got several discs in here. What's going on here? Oh, that needs to go in the case. <laughs> I don't know why I've got several discs sitting around. Um... So here we have Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, great game, by the way. Uh, 
basically it's uh the uh let's see here yeah basically it's the batman game that rocksteady did not do but almost looks like rocksteady did <laughs> Uh, let's see here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, where are you? Advanced Warfare, there you are. Let's put you back in here, where you belong. Yeah, apparently I had it set in the uh, case. So, uh, up next were the games that I was could not wait to play, and I got it for real cheap. Um, we have uh, Dead or Alive 4, yeah, one of the only very few fighting games that I have. And come on, let's be honest here, the only reason you really play this game is for a Kasumi. Come on, let's be honest here. <laughs> you know, great fighting game series, though, by the way. Really, really good. And finally, let's just let let's just uh, knock everything off here with a bang, shall we? Uh, first off, um, this the only reason why I have these two games on this system is because at the time I had the older, I had the fatter PS3, and the disc drive that took the discs, I sucked in the discs, decided I'm not going to pull this in anymore. I'm like, seriously? Like, right before this game came out? Because I was so looking forward to playing this on the PS3. So, I'm like, well, what do I do? I'm like, well, I still have the 360. Why not ask these games for the 360 for Christmas of that year? Uh, they were pretty cheap, by the way. Uh, so, I got Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes. Yeah. Uh, the prequel to the Phantom Pain, and of course, you know, you can tell that the 360 doesn't really have that great of graphic detail when it comes to the PS3, especially when you see that sequence, uh, well, it's in the opening, uh, 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 video or, uh, uh, CG effect where you see the mirror, you can tell it's very, you know, you know, uh, hexagonal, very eight-shaped based or whatever, not as circular as the PS3 can make out on it. And finally, we have, which is kind of funny, it says hard drive required. Uh, yeah, because this game takes up a buttload of memory. Um, but the funny thing is, though, it takes, uh, let's see, the hard drive you need at least almost 2 gig required to save. But yet, the funny thing is, it only takes 2 megabytes to save, which is weird. We have Metal Gear Solid Five. The Phantom Pain. Yep. Now, I have the Phantom Pain on the 360, but I do not have Ground Zeroes on 360. But I do want to get this game on the PS4, but I want the Definitive Edition, which has both games on one single setting. Basically, like the... Like this, it, the Definitive Edition is basically, you know, the substance, like what, three, what 2 and 3 was for the PS2 back in the day. So yeah, that basically completes my uh, Xbox 360 collection. There's more down in this box, though. Uh, tune in next time. Please like and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you uh, in the next game collection overview. See ya.